Thank you for joining us today for a special feature interview as we head to Montana's prolific Stillwater District, one of the world's largest and highest grade PGE nickel copper regions for an exclusive tour on site at Stillwater Critical Minerals and speak with some of the top geologists credited with developing the Ivanhoe Mines gigantic Platt Reef project. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's a pleasure to have you on the program today. Glad to be here. Thank you very much. Mr. Raleigh, please introduce yourself and share the value proposition before us in Stillwater Critical Minerals. Sure, yeah, I'm President and CEO of Stillwater Critical Minerals, formerly Group 10 Metals. We're in the happy position of sharing the Stillwater Complex with Sabanier uh, and their high-grade PGE mines. This is a district that's known for critical mineral production, and we're effectively proposing to bring the third wave of critical mineral production to this iconic American district. That's what we'll be we'll be touching on here today uh, live from the core shack. And I referenced earlier two of the world's top world-renowned geologists. Gentlemen, please introduce yourselves. So I'm Donny Grobble. I'm uh, from South Africa, as you know, um, fresh from the Platte Reef. Um, I've been involved there since 2004 uh, until April of this year um, in several different projects, also on different parts of the Bushwalk complex. Um, and I'm really excited to, to come to Stillwater. It's one of uh, the world's largest layered complexes, so it's really important uh, in that sense. And uh, I think it's just a massive, great opportunity for us to be able to come here and apply our, our experience and knowledge that we're bringing from South Africa. Um, and so far, we've been seeing some really positive uh, uh, things in the core. We've been looking at it a couple of past days few days and it's a, we're seeing significant parallels with the black Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my name is Albi Brits. Like Danny's said, I'm also from South Africa. We did a lot of work along the northern limb and the Bushveld complex as a whole. We're very excited to be here. Uh, we're very excited to, to, uh, to look at the core and the parallels and the similarities. And it looks like we, we're back at home. <laughs> we, the stuff is very familiar to us. The structures we've seen before, similar structures, um, and we we haven't seen anything serious as far as structure is concerned at this point in time, but we're expecting just the best for this project. Thank you. The Stillwater West is a big and well-mineralized system, but it's not well understood, and it's often compared to the Bushveld. There are parallels that you gentlemen have identified between Ivanhoe's Platte Reef Project and the Stillwater West. Share some of the parallels with us that have you confident that the Stillwater West may very likely have the next world-class Platte Reef Project. Yes, thank you, Maurice. So, yeah, we're seeing the same rock types, um, the magmatic rocks. We're seeing peroxinite, uh, pycnotoidal peroxinite. And we're seeing the, pro the pycnotoidal peroxide bound by chromatite stringings, which uh, on the plate reef forms the major uh, main uh, mineralized unit. Um, and we're seeing all that stuff uh, on, on still water rocks in the lower part of still water. So those are really important parallels. Uh, the mineralization is, is most surely associated with that. We're seeing uh, mineralization here also associated with those kinds of rocks. Um, and it looks like it's possible uh, to be able to, to follow these rocks on, 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 and, and get some continuity on them. So that's where the structure comes in. It's very important. So you first solve your, your magmatic stratigraphy um, in the terrain like this, and then you work towards your structure and you resolve your structural uh, um, detail. And that will that will provide you with the opportunity to define your reef and continue to on your economic reef. Well, gentlemen, you're at the core shack. Can you give us a sneak peek into what has you so excited? Yes. So we're seeing peroxide in in these holes, um, and we're seeing very clear. If I can come closer, some very clear uh, contacts, magmatic contacts between peroxide and a pycnotoidal rock. And on most of these contacts, we've seen um, chromatite stringers. Like I mentioned, these are very similar to, to the Bushwell complex. That's typical Marinsky-type textbook examples. Um, I can show you. These chromatite stringers are very subtle, so you've got to be very careful and know what you look for. 
Um, there's an example of a chromatized stringer there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, but these can be very subtle. It can be a few grains sometimes on those contacts. Um, but we know what to look for. Um, and we've, we've found them in most of these, these holes that have been drilled in so far. Yeah, Mr. Grobel, if you would bring that back to us and get it a little bit closer. I'd like for our audience members to make sure they can see that for us. Yeah, bring that, bring it a little bit closer for us. Can you see it? So, there's the stringer. There we go. Yes, sir. Okay. That good? Yeah, walk us through that one more time, if you would, sir. Yeah, so we're seeing pigment oil peroxide and, and, and uh, more medium grain peroxide above it. Um, and then these chromatized stringers are associated with those contacts. And the mineralization, there's a direct correlation between chromatite and, and pigmentoid and the mineralization. So these are very important features to look for in these kinds of rocks. Now, gentlemen, what I find equally exciting is that the Stillwater West is wide open for expansion on current resources and exploration for a number of styles, high-grade bulk tonnage. Is that correct? That, that's exactly it. Um, it is wonderfully underexplored, and that's the opportunity for us. There were 205 drill holes across 61 square kilometers when we first acquired the package. We've now brought that to 230 drill holes. That's still not a lot. And the central message here today is that this is a big and well mineralized system. Uh, the team did excellent work to bring us this far. You saw some of the spectacular drill results we hit last year. We'll talk in a minute about resource expansion potential there. The key point with these gentlemen on board and being in the core shack here in Montana is that their work mapping stratigraphy and structure, uh, as you just saw with those samples, is going to take this to the next level. Um, you need to know where you are in the system. You need to target those different mineralization styles that you mentioned. Uh, this is wide open and it's well mineralized and it's, uh, there's been a lot of excitement here. Well, not only on the sample results that you've been able to, to share with uh, shareholders, but what I find equally important, and if not more important, are the people. To attract world-class talent speaks volumes in and of itself because that is very difficult to do. And that says a lot about the Stillwater West in and of itself. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. If you look in Wikipedia, it's well known that these two systems, Bushveld and Stillwater, are very similar. Um, this and the rocks are, are completing that story. All right, I've given you some softballs here. Here's the multi-million dollar question, sir. Speaking of resource, do you have an update for us? Yes, the, uh, we feel very good about a resource update. Uh, that's on track for later this year. That's a priority objective for this year. If you've looked at our news releases from uh, December through to July, in those images you've basically seen we've mapped out uh, that expanded resource and uh, I think there are very good things coming there. Now are there any other programs underway that we should know about? Absolutely. The, the main effort here is to fully bring the Platte Reef model into our geologic model um, and we're working with the team here in that regard. They're just off camera here right now actually. See, the field crew is active at the moment. We're mapping and we're channel sampling. And the work here on the model will drive uh, future drill campaigns as well. Now, gentlemen, before we close, what would you like to say to shareholders? Um, this is a wonderful time to buy, frankly, uh, any quality junior mining stock. Uh, markets are heavily oversold. Um, and uh, we're on to fantastic things here. I invite people to look out and uh, reach out and uh, and give us a look and speaking of reaching out mr raleigh please oh i'm sorry please gentlemen i'm sorry i didn't mean to cut you off there <laughs> mr grobler you have any words for shareholders <laughs> no i can just say that the uh, still water is obviously one of the, the big lead complexes in the world um and having been mined uh, on the jam reef for for many years um you need to look at the rest of the still water complex also like we've done in south africa on the bush so there are other layers that are mineralized and, and potential economic deposits. So we're really excited to look at that uh, and, and apply, apply our knowledge here. All right, sir. Any final words for you? Well, the lower parts of, of Stillwater Complex is, is not fully explored yet. And, and that's the future of this complex. It's a future for critical minerals in the region. And, and it's just that's where, where we should go. That's the way forward. Thank you. Mr. Raleigh, you, you referenced reaching out for someone that wants to learn more about Stillwater Critical Minerals. Please share the website address and phone number. 
You bet. Uh, CriticalMinerals.com. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. Wishing you and Stillwater Critical Minerals the absolute best. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.